Cheap Shot Nation. You are watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. I am your host for this movie review, the first ever movie review on Cheap Shot Entertainment. So we've hit a milestone there. And we are going to be looking at Halloween 2018. I've been waiting to do this for a couple of weeks now. I went to go and see it with one of my best mates, Mike, who's also very much into his horror films. And we came out absolutely astonished by how good this film was. I've been waiting for him to be able to do the video with him, but in this case we'll turn on the pumpkin. Say hello Mike. Hello. And uh, we'll use the pumpkin as Mike in this case. Anyway, we're going to be looking, like I say, at Halloween 2018. And uh, yeah, we're going to get straight into that. But in the meantime, please click the subscribe button, like the video, Share us with your friends, followers on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, which should be scrolling across the bottom of the screen now as we speak. And join us for the spooky Halloween special. Halloween 2018, as it's affectionately known by the film industry, uh, is directed by David Gordon Green and it also stars Jamie Lee Curtis reprising her ro role as Laurie Strode with Judy Greer as Karen who is a daughter and Andy Maticek I think that's I think I've spelled that said that right as Alison her granddaughter uh, it also stars James Jude Courtney as the shape as well as the original shape Nick Castle reprising his role as Michael Myers and I love the fact that they call it The Shape. Even in the credits, the credit is The Shape. No mention of Michael Myers, it's just The Shape and I love that. Straight out nod to the original. In the original it, he was called The Shape, he was referred to as The Shape and that little thing there gives this film a tremendous sense of foreboding because you don't know what the shape is unless you already know what Halloween is and then you know what the shape is. Uh, also stars uh, Will Patton as uh, Officer Dawkins who teams up with Laurie Strode later on to try and take down Michael Myers and Maluk Billinger uh, as Dr Sartain who in his role in the movie has taken over from Dr Loomis in um, being Michael's uh, main doctor and st uh, studying Michael Myers and seeing how his brain works, really. Um, so, yeah, you've got a rundown of the main characters there. We're going to go straight in and uh, try and do a spoiler-free review and give you my thoughts on the film. Halloween 2018 is set 40 years after the original, hence 2018, it, the original was 1978 and set in that uh, in that year on um, Halloween. It even comes up on the credits. Uh, it's a direct sequel to the first, although an argument could be made that it's a direct sequel to the second, making it Halloween 3 in the timeline of the original film, uh, based on the fact that Halloween 2 took place straight after the first film. Um, does show Michael Myers as a very much older gentleman, sort of in his 60s, um, in the uh, first scene, uh, which is set in the hospital that he's in, or the correctional facility. Uh, we also get our first look at Dr. Sartain in this one, uh, with two journalists who want to talk to Michael Myers, and we all know that Michael Myers, the shape, doesn't talk, so good luck with that one, chaps and chapesses, because it is a man and a lady. Um, and they also happen to have the mask. Now, at this point, the um, Michael Myers does not react to them, but as soon as they take the mask out, he has a little bit of a twitch, and there's a little, a little bit of a nod. So like, that's my mask, I want it back. And boy, does he get it back. So most of that scene is contained within one of the extended trailers. Uh, so if you want to check that scene out before you go and see it, I wouldn't. Um, it's a very slow start to the film, but it does set up everything else that comes after it. So I wouldn't watch the trailers if you're planning on watching this film. I would just go and see the film because it is fantastic on its own. Um, 
uh, shot for shot Halloween 2018 um, invoke. Gives you the same sense of dread that the original did. It's called, you know, Michael Myers is called the shape. The music is used in the right way. The lighting is used in the right way. But um, Michael Myers is uh, less focused. Well, he is focused on on killing his family. That's that's the whole point of Michael Myers. However, he's indiscriminate in, in his killing in this one. So the reason that Michael Myers manages to escape is that the bus where he's be, who, which he's on being transferred to another facility uh, crashes and Michael Myers then escapes. He manages to find his mask in the boot of the reporter's car and take a, uh, an overall from a mechanic. And this is where the film really starts. And like I say, I'm not going to uh, spoil it by telling you what the kills are and things like that because I think that is the main part of the film but the first couple of kills you do not see anyway um, but the first kill that you see is absolutely brutal and it does take place straight after he escapes the bus and I say I'm not going to spoil it it's brutal and it's really unexpected and a bit of a nod to the Hammer Horror um, franchise from back in the uh, 50s and 60s um, bit of a nod to that so there's a lot of love in this film for the original film and for the films that made it possible to even be a film in the first place and I love it when directors do that you can tell this is definitely a love letter to the horror genre and saying that uh, the director is more known for his comedy and there is elements of comedy in this film as well and they are genuinely funny but the whole film is basically a nod to horror fans and fans of Halloween and it does that really really well. So at this point uh, we are introduced properly to Laurie Strode, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis reprising her role in the Laurie Strode uh, character. We're also introduced to Karen, her daughter, and Alison, her granddaughter, who she has a tenuous relationship with. Um, she has a better relationship with her granddaughter than her daughter, uh, who was taken away from her when she was quite young in the storyline uh, because of Laurie Strode being an unfit mother. But again, I'm not going to tell you why that is. Uh, but she's had this um, had this problem with her mother for a long time uh, based on her upbringing and the film does a very good job of explaining that but basically Laurie Strode in this film is the heel to Michael Myers face in terms of wrestling and uh, pantomime and all that kind of stuff um, she has dedicated her life to setting up a uh, a base to kill Michael Myers. There is even a line in the film um, where she says, I've always wanted him to escape, and then someone says, why? And she said, so I can kill him. And uh, that is in the trailer as well, so um, does give that away, but it doesn't give away any of the story. And she, she plays the character really well. This is a character that, having watched documentaries, I think... Um, Jamie Lee Curtis wanted to play in the first place when she played Laurie Strode way, way back in 1978 and she's now getting to play that character, that badass character, that character who only has focus on one thing, almost turning herself into Michael Myers himself um, because he is only focused on one thing. He is focused on killing her, she is focused on killing him and that brings a nice um, overall feeling to the proceedings in this film because they're both trying to stalk each other and that's a complete flip-flop from the first movie and that's one of the things, just one of the things I love about Halloween 2018. So it is that relationship between Michael Myers, Laurie Strode, Karen and Alison that drives the story on to the third act which is one of the best third acts I've ever seen in a horror movie, past or present, it is absolutely fantastic and rounds everything up nicely. There's a lot of subtle nods to the original, um, just shots 
taken from the original and recreated um, with roll reversal. And again, I'm not going to give you too much about that, but the cameras used, the, the final scenes, um, the over the shoulder look, uh, it's really, really good. Where's Michael? Can't find him. Uh, and all that kind of stuff and uh, yeah there's there's a lot of nods to the original and I love that the original uh, soundtrack I read uh, somewhere that John Carpenter was brought back to uh, re-record the score for this film as well which is absolutely fantastic and like I said those subtle nods the music the sense of foreboding the lighting used the the sets used the um, everything that sets up this final act is absolutely fantastic and building up the characters very very well and um, yeah the again the use of the original actor who played the shape if you've watched any documentaries on Halloween uh, was Nick Castle and that adds to the sense of foreboding as well because you can see little things that Nick Castle does that the other guy does not do uh, when he, when it comes to playing the shapes, the little nod of the head and things like that. It just makes it so much better. Um, and overall, the the story is it's true to the original. Um, it's it's nice. It's a nice continuation of the original even though we're 40 years later and there's been many 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 sequels since then um, all of that is brushed away including the Rob Zombie ones and uh, yeah it's kind of starting it again but where are they going to go from here it is left open at the end uh, and again I'm not going to tell you how it's left open but it is left open again for a sequel um, the director obviously had absolute faith in this movie and let me tell you as a horror fan as a fan of the original Halloween this movie is fantastic in conclusion right here on Cheap Shot Entertainment I would encourage you to go and see this film in the cinema take your friends and go and watch this film together because it is absolutely fantastic one of the best horror films I've seen in the last decade um, certainly and it with all the remakes and reimaginings and things like that this is definitely right on top of all of those um, films in terms of the horror genre and really brings back the slasher idea in horror movies it in fact is billed as a horror slasher uh, it's not just a horror it's not meant to scare you it's meant to be a slasher. It's someone stalking you and trying to kill you. And that, you know, the sense of that is built up very, very well in this film. So go and see it. This film is a solid A-grade uh, horror movie. And I hope, I hope they don't mess it up if they do a sequel. Cause, because a lot of films that are bought out, the first one is usually pretty decent ones that I like anyway, pretty decent. Then they bring out a second one and you think, oh, oh. And they'll probably get it back by the third one. But I'd quite like to see where this is going. We have the original Halloween, we have Halloween 2018 and see if we can go again with the next one. But I have been your host, Luke, on this fantastically spooky Halloween special. This has been Mike the Pumpkin. Thank you. And uh, you have been watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. This has been the review of Halloween 2018. Go and see the film. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. You can click the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to know when we are uploading new content and keep it locked right here on Cheap Shot Entertainment. And I will see you next time. Have a spooky Halloween.